John Penrose. Uh, thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Can I e also welcome these designations and this uh, initiative today? Uh, this time, not quite this time, last year, uh, the Foreign Secretary uh, promised that he would extend the existing uh, 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 human rights sanctions to include corruption, and indeed he has done so today. This is a triumph, I think, not just for him, but also for other campaigners such as, uh, as Bill Browder, as he's just mentioned. Can I press him, therefore, to say when he's going to be, whether he's going to be able to go even further, not just by designating more people, which I think he's said he has in mind already, but as he has rightly pointed out, the trick is to follow the money, and there are a series of measures, for example, to do with reforms to Companies House, which are being considered potentially for inclusion in the upcoming Queen's speech, which would make it dramatically easier for this country to follow the money, for him to make more designations underpinned by proof. Will we be able to get those into the next Queen's speech as well? My humble friend is uh, demonstrating yet again what a tenacious campaigner he is because uh, he's been lavish in uh, praising others, but actually he has been one of the most thoughtful and ardent and tenacious campaigners for this reform. Um, I will certainly take on board his comments about uh, further measures we can take to really reinforce even further the global sanctions regime. As he knows, I wanted to make sure that we got this right legally uh, in practical terms to make sure we don't give those cor corrupt cronies the PR gift of of weak regime or one that can be challenged in the courts. So we want to learn from the practice, but we will certainly and I will continue to listen very carefully to everything my honourable friend says on this subject. 